Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Varun here with us who's recently got into Cape Gemini as a senior analyst through his campus placements at VIT. He's here to share his interview experience with us. So before we talk to him, let's just look at the eligibility criteria. So all students with uh, CS, IT or circuit branches were eligible. Uh, students with a minimum of 60% in graduation and a maximum of two active backlogs were eligible. Now let's talk to Varun. Hi Varun, welcome to my channel. Uh, firstly, congratulations on your placement. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. So, uh, yeah, my name is Varun and uh, I'm in my final year uh, on my B.Tech VIT Chennai. And uh, uh, I mostly like doing uh, uh, physical activities and I'm very much uh, active in fitness and stuff. And from career point of view, uh, I like doing data analysis and uh, software which uh, help us uh, visualize data and stuff. So okay. I had been using Tableau and uh, I also tried Microsoft Excel for that. But uh, yeah, that was pretty basic. So I wanted to Excel something. Tableau, I tried Tableau and uh, I found it interesting. So uh, I, I also took courses and all that. I'm also into music and also, uh, that's about me. Okay, okay. Thank you. That's great. Uh, now you can tell us about your, uh, how the hiring process were, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. So, first round, uh, as uh, every company conducts is aptitude round, but uh, Capgemini had a different kind of aptitude round. Uh, it had verbal reasoning and logical reasoning, but the third part was it had game based aptitude. So when when the third section starts, actually what happens is they introduce you to different kind of games. They like on the spot they will tell you, see this is the game. These are the instructions for the game, okay. and uh, you have to score as much as points possible. So that will be counted counted as your marks for them. Okay. So there were three to four games. They introduce you. Mm. To the games, they they teach you the rules for the games, and then you can start playing the games according to your time. Okay. And the score you <laughs> get in those games is eventually your marks in that round. Okay. So, T, T, so verbal, logical, and game based aptitude was the first round of their recruiting process. Mm. And the people who scored very well in this in this round uh, were called for a coding round. Okay. So. Coding round comprised of uh, three questions. Mm. First question was very basic question of structural programming. Second question had some essence of hoops, okay. but if you are using Python, then I think you can eliminate that mm. part. Of it. Mm. And the third question was uh, on linked list. So for me, it was linked list. Okay. For the rest of the people, it could be anything from DSA. Okay. And uh, yeah, so these were the three questions, and uh, people who again did very well in the scoring round was selected for senior analysts hmm. and people who did did not do good in this round was selected as analysts. Okay. But but all provided it did very well in the hmm. first round. Okay. So they were selected as analysts. So I got select, uh, selected as senior analyst and so yeah that's it. So and then there was interview round. So like inter like before the interview itself, they segregated, segregated people into analysts and senior analysts. So, okay. uh, the analyst people weren't asked any technical questions in the interview. And senior analysts were asked about DSA, OOPS concepts, and uh, all the technical stuff they did. They mentioned in the resume, hmm. all of that, their projects. So, in my interview, uh, they started with the resume. Like first, first basic question was introduce yourself. So I introduced myself in a story story timeline, like not how I introduce right now. Okay. I introduced them like when I was a kid, what I liked and how I grew up. Okay. Liking what things, like mm. liking what what things, what different things I like, mm. and what was my liking pattern during my college days. Like, okay. mm. And uh, I also explained them my career point of view, and uh, I also mentioned them that I used to have you and stuff. Mm. So they were quite impressed about uh, these mm. things because I mentioned that uh, I was from electronics background. So 
from university at least i didn't get to learn these things mm. so so they were quite impressed that i learned these things for myself okay okay so yeah and they asked sir basic questions from dsa oops and one to two coding questions were given on the spot so we had to solve and the interview was done and then we got a mail that uh, you were selected okay okay that's great uh, congratulations again and thank you for sharing your experience uh, do you have any suggestions for people who are going to apply this year for capability if you are applying then uh, for verbal and logical reasoning like it's it's your sks right hmm. so pay attention to your sks the sks uh, in the first second third semester we all think that sks is just yeah. time pass but it's not it's the basic and like very first step for any company if you don't get pass in aptitude test then think you're not going right so yeah just practice your sks thing and be okay for game based aptitude just uh, read the instructions carefully because the games will be given on the spot mm. so understand the game properly and uh, score according to that yeah be fast as so, like you have to score maximum points in minimum time so that's the game mm. and uh, this is for the first round and for coding uh, what i personally did was i like i will be frank here i was not good at coding at all mm. i was in electronics background and uh two three months before the placement season i decided to take up one coding language one programming language which i can using mm. which i can solve any questions mm. like so in the first semester we were taught python i I thought Python was the easiest language I can take up and uh, master in two three months. Mm. So I take took up Python and uh, started solving questions. And in the coding round, it was allowed. You can you could you, you, you can you are allowed to code in Python. Mm. So I used Python, and uh, it was quite easy for me to solve those questions using Python. Mm. So I would advise you, uh, whichever programming language you are comfortable with, choose that language and you are good to go. Okay. Many people will tell you that uh, don't select Python. C plus plus and Java are the preferred languages, and I also agree. Obviously, they are the preferred languages. But if you are not very really strong in coding, then mm. Python is good. Okay. So that will be my advice. If you are not from CS background and uh, coding is not your forte, then just take up Python. Mm. And you have two three months, two three months is enough to catch up with all the concepts, mm. right? Hmm. So that will be it, and you can just clear all the rounds using this. Okay, okay then. Thank you so much again. Uh, 